There's a Texas state representative by the name of Armando Wiley. If I'm saying his name correct, forgive me. Well, there's a video of him going around because he's upset about three laws that Texas is trying to pass, in particular one SB4, and that one would give the state police uh, more power to arrest uh, migrants that, who cross to the country illegally. The way some of that is worded, if you are you know, taking people that you know that are illegal uh, in this country and you're taking them to wherever you're taking them to, they want to consider that uh, human smuggling and they want to raise the penalty from two years up to 10 years. Um, and you have a lot of people's family who are, you know, illegal that's here in the state of Texas. And Armando had a big problem uh, with them doing this. But it's something that he's going to say in this video that the reason why I'm actually making this video. But let's go ahead and roll that. Really got faces. They can't stand I've been on this sitting bill. there my whole goddamn time listening to y'all motherfuckers. It pisses me off. None of y'all motherfuckers know this shit. You're my friend, man. All I these cowards. You. But this hurts. The shit that happens on this right. goddamn cow hurts. I can't go hang out with my. <coughs> I can't drive my brother, my cousin. Okay, I I All can't take cowards. them anywhere, bro. I can't go to a, I can't go to a border. I can't go to oh. I can't go to a baptism because my community is being attacked. Y'all yeah. don't understand that what y'all do hurts our community. No. It hurts us personally, bro. Could you just let us it debate hurts it? us. Just, just let us debate it. It hurts us to our core. And y'all don't understand that. Y'all don't live in our skin. Y'all don't, man. And that's what pisses me off. I sit there. I've been a good soldier to him. That's right. To my own detriment. That's right to my own detriment. And the cut off debate, when all of our members are trying to have a debate, a, a civil debate, nobody's gotten, nobody's gotten crazy. We're just trying to have a debate. Let the chips fall where they may. We know where the, where, we know where the bill's going. Let us debate what we need to debate. Get it, let us blow some steam. But that's, I've never, I've been here 16 years. I've never seen it. Well, I hope you caught what he actually said about how he has stood with them even to his detriment. See, if people would actually listen to the black community and you actually pay attention to what we say, we would have told you that. We told everybody, don't try to play footsies with racism, white supremacy. Don't think just because you got maybe a little lighter skin and straighter hair than we do that they actually like you. See, they play a game with all of y'all. They act like, oh yeah, you're better than black people. And, and, they, and they may give you just a little bit more leg up than black people. But at the end of the day, they only for themselves and you are a threat to them too. You understand? And let me tell you why they really pushing this here in the state of Texas. It's because the census numbers came out and it shows that there is more Hispanics in Texas than white people now. And you know good and well that has always been a fear for them to be in the minority. Why? Why is that a great fear? Because of the different things they have done historically and even all the way up to now to black people, Hispanics, Asians, whoever else, right? So, this is about getting Hispanics out of Texas, deporting them back to Mexico because of the numbers. This is something they are in, afraid of is being a minority in this state. That's really what it is. That's the motivation. It's not about, oh, immigration, immigration, which immigration is an issue, but for them, it's about fear of being a minority. Now, Armando, Maybe you shouldn't have sided with them. You say you can't go to a baptism. You can't go do this and that and the third with one of your family members who are illegal because you can risk going to jail up to 10 years. That's what it is. Maybe you shouldn't have sided with them all those years, Armando. Maybe you should have uh, 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 stood up for the community. 
maybe when black people was on this, they're not anymore. Maybe when black people was on this, y'all should have actually had a black brown coalition. If you had that, the, none of this stuff would have happened, but a lot of you didn't want that coalition and, and we don't want it either. We good. We don't want coalition with nobody. We are good at this point. Now, individuals that's cool with us, we cool with them. Individuals, but just said groups, no. Because all these different groups have given us their proverbial behind the kiss. They get in these positions of power and they act no different than the people that's trying to hurt Armando's community. So that's why we say, yeah, we good. You know, it is what it is. And then when we don't speak up about certain issues, then these other groups want to get mad. Oh, they get angry with us. And then they get angry with us. And then they go to being racist. I've seen that happen so many times. Like really? So that's going to really convince us to be on your side. That's really going to convince us to show that the folks are so bad. Yeah. I mean, like when you be racist towards us, what, what response do you know I'm going to get? Oh, well, shoot. I see why the folks doing it now. Shoot. Look at you. This is a classic lesson. You side with the folks, they always going to backstab you. We are not nobody's enemy. The black man and woman of America, we are not your enemy. Black folks aren't doing anything to nobody. We just want to be able to raise our kids, live our lives. We want to be able to provide, you know, a great life to our, our, our family. That's mostly it. We're not asking to, to oppress nobody, overtake nobody, steal from nobody. We've never wanted any of that. Matter of fact, we wanted just equality for everybody. We didn't say we wanted just equality for us and oppress everybody. No, that's how the white supremacists think. We always said, no, we want equality for all. That's it. We don't mind sharing the pie with nobody. We don't mind equal power with nobody, but them, oh no, they can't have that. So they're going to do everything they can to try to undermine y'all. It's definitely here in Texas and it's going to get even worse because as more and more keep coming to the state of Texas, you better believe they're going to be worried because they want to run this state, you know, like where well, they can stay like an apartheid style where they, the minority, but yet they still run and control everything. But let this be a lesson to people like Armando. You side with the folks, they're going to burn you.